Welcome to Alberta, Canada. In this video, we are going to be showing you the top things to do in Banff National Park. Banff National Park is known for its stunning Rocky Mountain peaks, diverse wildlife, we found them out. scenic drives, and of course, all of those turquoise blue glacial lakes. Good morning, you guys. It's our first day here in Banff National Park. As you can see behind me, we got up super early to come to Moraine Lake. We had to get up actually 3.30 to drive here. It took us an hour to get here to get a spot. Sun has risen now. It lived up life. It was unbelievable. <laughs> We had to get here so early this morning because there's a limited amount of parking spots. The parking lot fills up on average about 6 a.m. every day and the high season's 5.30, 5.15, which is wild, but you can see why. So worth it. Unbelievable. Wow, nice Sammy, how there. epic is this? Wow, it is so beautiful. I wasn't sure I wanted to wake up to see this, but it is 1,000% worth it. You just so good. Not a sunrise person, but this is a sunrise I would wake up for again and again. <laughs> Definitely do it. So Moraine Lake is a glacially fed lake. It's actually situated in the Valley of Ten Peaks. That color actually comes to its strongest color, I believe, in June. We're in September here now, but still, it doesn't look real. We are on the most common trail now. It's called the Rock Pile Trail. This is where you see all those iconic photos, which I just took. I'll put a few here right now. We were lucky enough to get here when the stars were out, so you can see the reflection, and wow. It's very short to get up here, and the reason to come up here is for this iconic view. So this view is called the $20 view. You can see the lake and the Valley of Ten Peaks behind us. It's amazing. How are we doing, guys? Good, how are you? Good, good, enjoy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. That has to be one of my favorite sunrises ever. We've had a lot of them, but ooh, that one is pretty amazing. Heading back down the Rock Pile Trail. We're gonna go warm up in the car, eat some breakfast, and then head out on one of the most famous hikes here. If you don't get up early enough to make it to the parking lot to get a spot, the other way to get here is to take the shuttle from Lake Louise. After about 6 a.m., they close the road coming into here. So the only way is to get the shuttle, Lake Louise, take it here. The problem with that is you have to wait for the shuttle times. It's just after nine, and it's already getting pretty busy. There is a lodge here right on the lake. It's called Moraine Lake Lodge. Looks very nice. Hello. What's yeah. his name? Achillian. Achillian, I like that name. Hi Achillian, goodbye buddy. Now we're gonna start the Moraine Lake Trail. I think it's the easiest little trail around here. It circles the lake. Let's go check it out. The sun's about to come out over that cliff, but you can see the water up close. So that's where I was at this morning. That is the Rock Pile Trail with the famous view, the $20 view. So as you're walking the Lakeshore Trail, there's actually two paths. There's one next to the water that has like kind of like rocks and logs and things like that. And there's a more accessible path set back in the woods a little bit where you can still see the lake and it's more accessible for everybody. I can't want you to slip on one of those slippery logs. I know. <laughs> those are dangerous. Be careful if you come here. <laughs> That's true. We've already saw a couple fall over. 
now we're starting the large valley hike. It's 4.6 kilometers one way. That's to the end of the valley. I think it's three kilometers up these switchbacks that we're doing now to get to the start of the valley. Whew, time to do some work. This hike is 540 meters of elevation. I'm already out of breath. And it takes about three to four hours to do the whole thing. So definitely a moderate hike. When you are hiking in Banff, you do need bear spray though. You should not be going on any of these hikes without it. There are grizzlies in the area and moose. So we're doing the large valley hike because it is the middle of September now and the trees, the large trees actually turn golden brown. All right, we're done with the incline. We made it into the valley now. You can start seeing the golden trees. It is so stunning. You got to see this view. So nice, flat terrain now. It's a very easy hike, just surrounded by all these trees. just came up out of the Larch Valley and now we're up here at the top of the pass overlooking all of the larches and it is absolutely stunning when they turn into that crispy golden color. It is tiring but keep going because the views get better and better. You can see the whole valley below us. I think we found our lunch spot, surrounded by snow-capped mountains and the large trees in the background. Whew. Lunch time. I think this is one of our favorite views we've ever seen. Starting the day with sunrise at Moraine Lake and then finishing here at the top of the Larch Valley, overlooking the 10 peaks. Absolutely beautiful, a perfect way to end the day. above the highway it had like trees and grass growing on top of it so like the animals are not disturbed at all but they can still cross the highway yeah that's so awesome yeah we drove one hour into the town of Banff to take a look around and get some hike recommendations so Banff is a resort town located in the province of Alberta it has over 8,000 residents I believe it gets over 30,000 visits every single year and it's surrounded by two major peaks the Cascade and Rundle So we are currently walking on Banff Avenue, which is the main street here in the town of Banff. It is beautiful, as you can see behind me, the huge mountain. This street has a bunch of restaurants, shops, boutiques, hotels. Great start to our trip. The guide at the visitor center was extremely helpful and recommended to start with a short walk right here in town. So we're walking down the Bow River Trail now. It's a very short, I think it's just over a kilometer. You can already see the turquoise glacier water. Beautiful. So we just finished up Bow River Trail. It's like a very tranquil walk outside of Banff Town. It takes you all the way down to Bow River Falls, which is very relaxing and beautiful. Now we are quite thirsty, so we're heading back into town to maybe try some beers. See what IPAs they have in town. <laughs> like always. We are back in town now. We're heading to the Three Bears Brewery. I'm all thirsty now. Balloon. Our first beers in Canada. We are leaving the brewery now. My favorite was actually the Pale Ale. It's called Happy Trails. Delicious. 
everything on our flight was actually really good, which is surprising. Most new breweries are not the best, but yeah, I'll definitely make it this accessible. was amazing. So we came to the town of Banff just to show you guys where most people stay at. We actually can't afford it. We're staying about 30 minutes from here, which we're about to head to now, but such a picturesque, beautiful town. just arrived to our rustic cabin in the woods. This is our Johnston Canyon cabin. Let me show you around. Okay, so we have a cozy living room with a fireplace. We have a small but functional kitchen that we'll be cooking our meals in for the next three days. And the cabin is also two bedrooms and one bathroom. It's small and cozy, but we're right in the heart of Banff and we're super excited to be exploring this area for the next week. Real quick, it's time to thank the sponsors of today's video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes where millions of people come to further their skills in photography, illustration, graphic design, and so much more. This week, I'm tuning into Productivity Masterclass, principles and tools to boost your productivity with Ali Abdal. I've just been a massive productivity nerd for years and years. In this series of classes, we'll be diving into the principles, the strategies, and the tools for productivity. I found this class to be incredibly insightful and I really enjoyed putting my own productivity under the microscope. From photography and illustration to graphic design and so much more, Skillshare has classes that will meet your needs and interests. Right now, Skillshare is offering the first 1,000 of you guys who click the link in the description box below or use our code Sammy and Tommy, a one month free trial of Skillshare so that you can start exploring your creativity today. And let's get back to the video. It's our second day here in Banff National Park. Since we're staying at Johnson Canyon, we figured we'd do the famous Johnson Canyon hike. So this hike has two parts. There's a lower and an upper falls. It's about 3.7 kilometers and it's only 120 easy. meters of elevation gain. So it's fairly easy and accessible to all. So it's quite busy. A lot of people. Well, we're here with actually two friends. You might know them from Keep Going Places. We'll introduce you guys in a bit. Let's start the hike. Yeah. The fact that this hike is beautifully set inside the canyon and is accessible to all makes this a very popular stop. It is quite possibly one of the busiest in all of Banff, so make sure you arrive early if you want to beat the crowds. So the first part of this is very easy. It's all a paved road. There's a little guardrail too. So we're on our first catwalk. It's so beautiful. Right over this edge, you can see that turquoise river. So you guys might be wondering who we've been traveling with. These are our friends, Ashley and Jordan, from Hi. Keep Going Places. Meet Ashley and Jordan from Keep Going Places. These are our internet friends turned into real life friends. They have an excellent YouTube travel channel and are currently traveling Eastern Europe, so make sure you guys check them out. We had a ton of fun getting to know them on this trip and are so excited to travel with them again in the future. Just made it to the lower falls. That was short and sweet. Beautiful. Check this out. Lower falls is pretty crowded. You have to wait in line actually to go in this tunnel or a little cave. Hopefully when we come back, there'll be less of a line. I will show you guys then. You can see why we chose this hike. This river running through these canyons is beautiful. We just got off the catwalk and the canyons. Now we're in this forested area. So peaceful. I saw the little sign that said 500 meters to Upper Falls and I was like, oh hey, like, you know, we're almost there, excited. And the guy walking past me on the trail was like, 
hey. She, she was more like, oh, hey. <laughs> and he was and like, like, hey. Okay, like, okay so we're just seeing out. Yeah. If you want to oh, meet yeah. people, John's the trail. <laughs> All right, just 900 meters to the upper falls. It looks like we're finally going on the incline a little bit. You are the sunrise waking my day. You are the moonlight shining my way. This is me. I call home. You are the fire warming my night. With you, I'll stay till the morning light. This is where I call home. Of so nice, isn't it? Yeah. It's one of the best smells in the world. Yes, yes. Is it evergreen, though? Yeah. I love that smell. Yeah. It is very relaxing. <laughs> Look at that drop. I know. Oh. All right, we just made it up top. Check out that view. Those blues and greens are just so beautiful. On a hike, I met some former Coops alumni. Go Coops, baby! Go, Go Coops! Hey, Ooh, what's your name, huh? <laughs> oh, beautiful dog. Thank you. What's the name? Mishka. Mishka. Yeah, you're so pretty, huh? I love your hat, man. <laughs> Hello. Well done. Yeah. Well Team done. Hike. Team hike, baby. Yeah. Okay, that's it for our hike. It's super family friendly, very easy, relaxing, and beautiful. Tonight, we're not gonna do much. Gonna hang out with our friends, eat some dinner, play some games. 19! Oh! Three. <laughs> Dude, why are you laughing? We're laughing! Hey! Thanks for knocking. Wait, what Today we are leaving our Johnson Canyon cabin. We're heading to Lake Louise and we are going to do the Lake Agnes Tea House Trail. So we're taking the Bow Valley Parkway on the way to Lake Louise. It's really well known for seeing animals on this trail. Sammy spotted a deer. Woo! That was my second deer I spotted. Did we get on camera? No. Okay. They're too fast. I'll go slow for the next one that I spot. I'm pretty good at spotting. Oh my God, look at the elk. We found an elk. Hello. Wow, that was amazing. That's a great way to start the day. It's gonna be another good one. Woo! Yeah. That elk was so beautiful. I've never seen one that close. You know, it was within like 10 feet of us. Wow, that was so fun. It's hot or perfect, you know? Wow, just walking up to Lake Louise with the stunning snow-capped peaks overlooking the turquoise water is going to be an absolutely beautiful day. The weather's perfect. Can't wait to start this hike. Let's go. That's so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, I like it. Woo. Seen an elk and now this doesn't get any better. So the glacier up there is called a Victoria Glacier. It's seven kilometers away and it's actually 80 meters thick, which is twice the height of the Lake Louise Chateau that's right here. So when you're standing here, you can like reference it. It's pretty insane. Today we're starting with the Lake Agnes Trail up to the tea house. It's 4.6 miles round trip. Gonna have stop at the tea shop there and then hike up to the Big Beehive for the view over the whole lake. So our first stop is going to be Mirror Lake. It's 2.6 kilometers. Then a kilometer further than that, we're going to be at the Lake Agnes Tea House. We'll probably assess and see how my legs are feeling and decide <laughs> if we're gonna go to the Big Beehive or not. Let's hope you can do it because the views look awesome. Let's do it. You got this. Two minutes in. Let's cut it. 
Let's go back. Pull on the chopper. How you guys <laughs> feeling? We need to be in all good. out. We gotta stretch. Over, Stay done. nimble. Ashley was big talk last night, so she said, was. I got it. It's no problem. So I we'll see how she does it, self. people. Yeah. I have to convince myself, y'all, or I'll just be Positive. cocktail at the hotel. <laughs> Salud. It smells so good. It tastes so good. <laughs> Time to shed layers already. Look at you, beautiful dog. Oh, you are so cute. Oh, look at those eyes. All right, looks like the easy gradual incline's over. It's time for the switchbacks. Woo, so excited. So you can definitely see why it has the name Mirror Lake. The reflection is beautiful. Let's check out the water. I want to see how cold it is. Wow. Not too bad. For a glacially fed lake, it's not bad. See, it's not bad. Holy tits, that's cold. 50 bucks to jump in right now. $50 cash. Cash money? Cash money. Come on. No. Really? <laughs> What's yours and mine, baby? I got that $50. <laughs> so that is the Big Beehive. That's where we're going to end our hike. We hope so. I don't know if it's all the way up there. It's only another mile. Ooh, that looks like further than a mile to me. A nice little break at Mirror Lake. Now I think we have our steepest ascent. But it's only 0.8 kilometers to the tea house. Found another shortcut. I'm gonna try to scare him this time. Wow. I may have bitten off more than I can chew. This is a rather steep shortcut. Jesus. Oh, the Tommy bear spray. We were literally, Jordan was like, do you think Tommy's above us or below us? I said, oh, who knows? Woo, made up top. Looks like we got the tea house in front of us. All right, made it inside the tea house. It's actually really warm and toasty in here. They have cute little tables. Say hello, everybody. Hello, ready for tea time. <laughs> Sugar. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Cheers. What'd you get? I got Canadian maple sugar. Ooh. Just wanted to go very local. Salud. Um, salud. It's gonna be too hot for me to drink. It's too hot. Check out what it tastes. so good. Biscuits and honey. Mm. Average biscuits. Mm. That is delicious. Definitely tastes like maple syrup. And it is so warming and cozy. With all that steam coming off of it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mine's better. So the tea house is really cute. Definitely worth it to warm up. So now we're heading to the big beehive. It is 1.6 kilometers. It looks like we're going up pretty steep, but it's only a mile. So two miles round trip back to Lake Agnes Tea House. I'm excited. Wow, this is really beautiful. So I believe we circle around the whole lake first, and then we start heading up. <laughs> what was that? Oh, Tommy stopped a lady on the trail and was like, oh, how is it? She's like, yeah, it's a doozy, but super worth it. Worth so it. So we're going. The view looks amazing. Nice as this. So awesome. So 
little rocky train. It's kind of cool though, not so much of a paved path as the previous ones. 100. Follow you on camera now too. <laughs> you met Found another couple of new friends. It's your time to shine. <laughs> How y'all doing? Good. We're going. We're doing. The scenery helps, you know. Yeah. Wow, I'm so excited for this view. The view is already amazing. You alright, baby? I just feel like my chest is like so tight. I'm so scared of heights. When I look over, I'm just like, no matter how beautiful the view is, no incline can make my heart go as fast as the scariness of looking down can. You got this, baby. <laughs> scary. They said the hard part's almost over. Okay. <laughs> Hug that wall. That makes your heart start pounding. Gotta drop off. Thanks. Wow. That's so amazing. Alright, we made it on top. Woo! Woo! You did such a good job. Oh, thank you. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Oh my god. I love how much oh my god. So <laughs> <That's beautiful>. Congratulations, <laughs> man. It's so great, man. So there's Mirror Lake there. The famous Lake Louise. It's pretty cool how we started all the way over there. Walked away on the lake up to Mirror Lake. Now we're all the way up top. Good work everybody. Ashley, you badass, no problem. Bring it up, the newly engaged couple. Yeah. The lake's such a creamy turquoise color. We have the white cap mountains in the background surrounding it. Wow, I don't know if you can see this, but right on the top of that rock up there, there's two little people. I don't know how they made it up there, but that is nuts. My stomach dropped just when she told us about that. I was like, I just can't imagine. <laughs> wow, what a great way to end the day. This is so amazing. What'd you like better, this or Moraine? I personally loved this hike and the views of Lake Louise, Mirror Lake, Lake Agnes. I mean, it's like the trifecta. It is the trifecta and it's so beautiful. I know we keep saying that, but it's just because it is. And if you come here, you have to do it. Which one did you like better? I don't know, it's hard to say. If you're talking about the whole hike to Large Valley, that was the peaks there are so beautiful. This oh. is great though, Go, you can just see like the whole ridge line. Yeah. It also has the large trees here too, so you can see them in here as well. Both amazing hikes, don't miss out. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a good one. You guys do the same.